six new releases from Arabian Aroma and two of them are really nice and nobody else has done it. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. Before I get started with the six, I'll quickly remind you about the presentation. It's all the same, no changes. Any perfume that you take, you get this sort of presentation. These are 30 ml extrait perfume. You can also use or buy the 50 ml or the perfume as well. Both cost the same. I'll give you all the purchase details in the video description box. In case you're interested in buying, you can buy it from their website. So let's get started with number six. I'm placing this at number six because this is a very, very common inspired version which is of Dior Sauvage okay and this is their new creation the previous Dior Sauvage which I did long back I think about one one and a half years back that was a little low in performance now they have made it Ambrox and heavy okay this might remind you a lot about Afnan's Modest Une which I recently reviewed okay this is one of the best clones of Dior Sauvage with a very nice projection I would say this is about 90% similar to Dior Sauvage. In case you do not know what Dior Sauvage or how it looks, this is Dior Sauvage. Very popular and it's very common these days. So in case you want something on a budget, you definitely can check Arabian Aroma. This is Ambrox and Heavy guys. This is 30 ml extra perfum. I would personally choose the other perfum because I don't like too much of Ambrox in a fragrance, but otherwise, this is about 90% close to this one, but the Ambroxan is even more heavier than this one. The performance is great. Two and a half to three hours of projection and eight to nine hours of lasting, but you can keep it around eight. If you're indoors, you can push it for about nine hours if you apply it on clothes. Okay, so that was at number six. Now coming to number five is Invictus Victory. Okay, this again is a flanker of Packer Band Invictus. I mean, this is a inspired version. In case you do not know how Invictus is, the most popular, like six, seven, ten years back. Okay, so the flanker Invictus Victory comes in a darker bottle, kind of black or dark gray, if you want to call it. This does not really go in the Invictus aquatic DNA. This is more to do with Tonka, there is a bit of lavender and citrus. Okay, it's more to do with Tonka. It's not in the aquatic style. So I'm generally not a fan of this kind of fragrance, but when it comes to compliments, this is still a winner, guys. This kind of DNA is always complimenting. So if you are beginning into the fragrance world, I would still suggest this one, Invictus Victory by Arabian Aroma. Beautifully done citrus, lavender, and a very beautiful creamy Tonka which performs and smells really nice. Projects about two and a half to three hours and lasts about seven to eight hours. At number four is Calvin Klein One. Okay, again, a very, very old release. If you like beautiful citrus, very refreshing, uplifting sort of a citrus, you definitely have to check this one. I really like the quality. Those CK One is a very old release. A very simple citrus fragrance for the daytime summers this is done really nice guys 85 percent similar but i felt this actually smells better than the original formulation wise it's about 85 percent similar but it smells really nice if you want a nice daytime simple easy to wear kind of fragrance definitely check this one out ck1 by arabian aroma has that very refreshing citrus some green notes there is lily there is jasmine and a bit of freesia in the opening and then as and when it dries down there is musk sandalwood and cedarwood very nicely done two hours of projection seven to eight hours of lasting at number three is the most popular release from Givenchy gentleman reserve Privé. okay inspired aroma is the first one to release their inspired version and trust me this is about 85 percent to 90 percent close except the quality okay the quality i wouldn't say is as good as Givenchy, but it is done really nice guys very impressive but the fact is i don't like the original personally okay i'm being very honest i've tried it twice from lifestyle and shopper stop just to see if I start liking it. 
then I realized that it has iris note and I'm never a big fan of iris note very very rarely I like iris note I like the iris note in Prada Lone, which is more soapy and usually iris note is not my cup of tea I generally don't like it that is why I don't have Dior Homme Intense as well if you have watched all my videos I would have never shown you the bottle of Dior Homme Intense no matter how many times I try I do have the 2ml vial the official one I still didn't feel like getting the original bottle because never a fan of iris notes in general majority of the times I don't like iris note I have the problem here as well I'm talking of the original Givenchy gentleman reserve preview I did not like that because of that iris note I get the same problem here okay so personally I don't like this one but if you like the DNA of Givenchy gentleman reserve preview which costs around eight to nine thousand which is whooping really high I did not get that one neither I'm planning but if you want an inspired version really good inspired version in a budget you definitely can check this one out okay along with that iris you also get some bit of citrus there is a nutty and woody and ambery base okay overall it's done really nice 85 percent close guys but like i said personally i don't like iris note so i'm not a huge fan of the original itself so not a fan of the clone as well at number two is ch bad boy okay again very beautifully done after one hour it smells very close to bad boy le parfum okay i have the official miniature of bad boy le parfum i wasn't a big fan of the original bad boy but bad boy le parfum really smells nice it has that beautiful citrus there's a bit of pepper but the best part is that creamy cacao and tonka that tonka and creamy cacao combination really plays nice it smells very class it's not overly sweet it's beautifully done especially for office wear if you like that slight cacao tonka style in the cooler weathers if you have an air-conditioned office setup this is really going to shine there okay ch bad boy le parfum i'm not a fan of the edt but le parfum is my favorite of all and this one is actually the inspired version of the edt i believe but fortunately this smelled a lot like bad boy le parfum after 30 to 45 minutes okay maybe because this is a 30 ml concentration extra the perfume so it smells really heavy if you get the 50 ml i'm not sure but i would personally suggest you go with the 30 ml extra the perfume concentration because after 30 to 45 minutes let's say one hour it smells quite similar to bad boy i would say about 85 percent okay beautifully done this will also get you a lot of compliments because it is very nicely done beautifully created that creamy tonka and cacao note is really beautiful in this one especially for cooler weathers so definitely try it in that kind of occasion base has a nice cedar wood as well projects really nice two and a half to three hours of projection 11 to 12 hours of lasting guys that's why i'm placing it at number two not just for the lasting obviously but it is beautifully created at number one actually the number two and number one was a tie for me but just for the sake of video at number one Paco Rabanne 1 million elixir okay now elixir is a flanker of Paco Rabanne 1 million which I personally liked but unfortunately it discontinued so I did not get my chance to get hold of one but elixir is actually my favorite from the 1 million flankers this also is done really nice you definitely have to grab your chance on this one and that's why I'm placing it at number one because elixir is discontinued and this is a great option guys if you do not know how 1 million elixir smells like this also is a 30 ml extra perfume it opens up with a beautiful apple there is a very slight hint of rose with some osmanthus in the opening then comes that beautiful cedar cocoa and vanilla in the mid and in the base you get that beautiful creamy tonka again creamy tonka okay i'm not a huge fan of tonka when it is too sweet this is very creamy beautifully created you have to check this one out if you like the original 1 million elixir performance is also great two and a half hours of projection nine hours of lasting is what i got with this one definitely check this one out guys because i haven't seen 1 million elixir inspired version from anywhere else unless i'm missing out 
so ch bad boy and this one are my personal favorites but if you are a great fan of gentleman reserve preview which is now getting very popular though personally i don't like it you definitely can get your hands on this beauty as well so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you have tried any of these comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers